Welcome back to another Uthio video. I'm here today to talk about the Ottawa Senators, uh, what's changed for them in the month of December uh, from the previous two months, particularly from November, which was a brutal month for them, and just why are they having so much more success. And yes, I have my O jersey on for this one. I thought, you know, why not change things up a little bit instead of just wearing my regular clothes all the time? Why don't I put on my Sens jersey for this video? Okay, so as we know, the Sens had a very rough month of November. Uh, only recording the one win and that was pretty disappointing to see and I know they had their COVID issues and you know some injuries and stuff like that but still you know there were some games earlier on in the month where they had all their guys and you can kind of see the warning signs pointed towards them you know maybe going on a stretch like that because they were not playing well even with their full roster earlier on in the month of November. And some things that they've cleaned up so far in the month of December and we don't know if the month of December is over uh, yet for the Sens because you know with the NHL's whole pause that they're on right now their mini pause um, you know I think it, right now it's scheduled till after the Christmas break but we don't know if that's going to continue till January 1st or not. Some of the things they cleaned up like I said is their penalty kill for one uh, you know they came into the month of December with a very bad penalty kill I believe it was like 72 point something percent uh, now is 77.8%, which still isn't great, but it's definitely a major improvement over what it was before. And, you know, you have to climb your way out of the basement uh, when your penalty kill is that bad. And Ottawa's climbing their way out of it now, and hopefully they can continue, they can continue to have good penalty killing going forward. Another thing, too, is their goaltending has greatly improved. Uh, Anton Forsberg, the guy who's played the bulk of the games, Gustafsson only has one start so far in the month of December. As we know, Matt Murray was placed on waivers in late November. But Forsberg is a guy who, he wasn't great at some points in the season, and the Sens kind of stuck with him, and now it's kind of clicking for him in December. Now, I don't know if this is going to continue for Anton Forsberg. I think he is a good goalie, but is he a true, legit starting goalie in this league? I mean, the jury's still kind of out on that. When you're 29 years old and you've kind of muddled your way through the NHL and you haven't really established yourself yet, you're probably never going to be that true number one starting goalie. But so far, he's looked like a good number one starting goalie for Ottawa in the month of December anyways. Another reason for the turnaround is the Sens' top line has been playing lights out. The line of Josh Norris, Drake Batherson, and Brady Kachuk have been lights out, like I said. They're all producing at very high rates, especially uh, Batherson and Kachuk too in the month of December. I mean, it seems like that after he got bitten by uh, Lemieux there on the last game in November, he just took off after that. I don't know if maybe he got some superpowers from that bite or not, but all joking aside, I mean, he's been very good. And I've been very hard on Brady Kachuk. Uh, you know, that's no secret. I think anyone who's watched this channel long enough has known that I've greatly doubted him. And I'm not ready to say yet that He's gotten to that next level and he's going to be, you know, a 70 point plus player every single season. I mean, he, he has only been good for a few weeks now. One thing I have noticed about Brady Kachuk this year is he's beating goalies from far out a lot more often than he had in his first three seasons. Uh, he's known for his work around the net, which is all fine and dandy. When you're paying a guy over 8 million, you want him to be able to beat a goalie far out from far out with some regularity and I think that's what we're seeing with Brady Kachuk more this season. He looks like uh, he improved his shot, he's improved his skating to me as well. He looks faster this year now, I mean his weight isn't any lower than it was last year but he looks faster to me especially in the month of December. Everything's been clicking for him like I said. And Drake Batherson has been outstanding I think in my opinion. The Sens' best forward probably by far this season, I would have to say. Not just because of the points, too, but just everything. I think uh, his defensive play has improved as well. Uh, and then, obviously, you can't ignore the points he's been putting up either. And I was talking in the comment section a while back with a subscriber that goes by the username of HockeySnipes365. And he or she was saying... You know, I think Batherson could be a 70-point guy. I was saying, uh, I don't know, maybe 60 points, something like that. But, I mean, wow, Batherson really is looking like a 70-plus point player right now. Moving on to the next reason for the turnaround, I think Ottawa has been worrying less about taking the body and worrying more about the puck. And I've said it many times before, when you get your stick on the puck, you can force turnovers. I found the Sens have had a lot more offensive zone time in the month of December than they did in November. 
They look a little more like the team uh, they did in October, except maybe better defensively. I thought the team in October still had some holes defensively. And I'm not saying that the Sens have played perfect defense in the month of December. Uh, they've had had their, um, their moments so far. And, you know, their goalies have had to bail them out. But with that being said, they've looked a far cry better than what they did in November. And speaking of defense, protecting the front of the net... Uh, they've done a much better job of that. I believe their grade A scoring chances against have really gone down, or at least it looks like they have gone down in the month of December anyways. There isn't so much just getting hammered away at in your own end all night long, giving up a ton of scoring chances. Uh, their goalies have been good, or pretty much their goalie, because Forsberg's really been the only guy that has played so far this month for the most part. Uh, Forsberg's been pretty good, but he hasn't had to be spectacular this month, other than maybe the Carolina game that they stole there in the second game of this month. Other than that, I think Forsberg has just had to be pretty good, and the Sens have taken care of the rest in front of him. So those are my reasons for the Sens turnaround in the month of December. Uh, please let me know what your reasons are, and if any of your reasons differ from mine in the comment section down below. Also, please like and subscribe and share this video. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll talk to you again soon.